This tutorial is for how to export an image sequence out of Photoshop. Um, so I have some animation here and what I want is I want a sequence of numbered images um, rather than like an mp4 video or something. So the first thing that you want to do is you just want to make sure that your work area here on the timeline is set to the area that you want to export, right? Sometimes the background layers that you put in, they go kind of farther out than your actual animation. And um, I have this kind of note on the first frame, so I'm gonna trim that as well, so I don't need that. So I'm just gonna animate, or just gonna export this part here. And so once I have that set, I want to go to File, Export, Render Video. And then this little dialogue comes up. And so you want to um, give your sequence a name and decide where you want it to go, right? Um, and it's always a good idea to have a separate folder for each sequence, um, just keeps things organized so you don't have, you know, lots and lots of um, images in one, one folder and you have to sort through them all. So give it a, give the folder a name that makes sense for the actual file um, that you're working with. And then um, here is where you choose whether you're exporting it as a video, right? This, is, this might be the default. Um, and you want a Photoshop image sequence. And you can choose you know, whatever kind of file you want. You can do a JPEG um, if you don't need transparency and you want really fi small file sizes. Um, PNGs, they, you can have uh, no compression and so they can be really high quality. Um, and if you need a transparent background, you can do PNG um, with an alpha channel or you can do a PNG without an alpha channel. So, um, so this part here just says how many digits your, your sequence number is going to have. So if you have a long frame, you might want more. Um, I usually just let it be at the default of four and double check your document size and your is correct, your frame rate is correct. Um, and then this here, you want to make sure that this is on the work area. That's what we previously defined, right? Um, and so we're just going to export that, those frames in the work area here. And then over here, this is where you would, if you wanted to have a transparent layer, um, you could choose uh, to have an alpha channel that was straight or it was pre-multiplied with black or white. Um, we don't need an alpha channel for, for this because it's the background is going to be part of the image. So I'm gonna choose none. And then I will hit render. And I've already rendered this, so um, I can just replace that and then it's going there and then if i go and look at my image sequence here we go there is um, my sequence of, of 16 images note that it starts at zero and it goes to 15 rather than starting at one and going 16 you can define that if you prefer it to start at one in that little dialog box um, but here they all are and I can take that into After Effects or Premiere and edit it or do other things to it. So there you go. That's how you do it. Quick and easy.